YouTube. Uh, okay, so it's not morning. I'm sorry, but it is about 12 o'clock right now. And in today's video, actually pause, I need to get some breakfast in because this is what happens when I don't have food in me, okay? I need food for energy so I can talk and show you guys my new life. All right, so this is what we're having for breakfast today, guys. I have two packets of instant oats here, maple and spice. It is not the sugar-free, it's, it's the normal kind. And then I have two hard-boiled eggs here. And all of the furniture gets here on Tuesday. Then it'll be nice, because then I'll have like a couch, not these butterfly chairs. Sorry, Casey, <laughs> they're hers. <laughs> all right, guys, so tour of the new place. Welcome to the new place, guys. New spot. <laughs> so it's exciting. This is the living room, dining room area. There's all this like beautiful lighting. And check this out. A no slam thing, so if I it. Stove top. Okay, and then they gave me snacks. And a car. Dear Heidi, the day has finally arrived. We are thrilled to officially welcome you to your new home. Right. I got Mexican chocolate because they knew I have a Mexican boyfriend. <laughs> the view is obviously gorgeous. It overlooks the city, it overlooks San Antonio. This is the guest room slash guest room or guest bathroom. No, no, the spare bedroom bathroom. It's really nice. It's huge. I know. I think it's a bigger shower than your shower. And this is my room. I had a four bedroom house, which was really cool. Like a little over 2,000 square feet, where this one is right under 1,500 square feet. Oh. Convenient. It's convenient. I feel like since I'm like in and out of town or like at the warehouse all the time, I just don't have time to take care of my house right now. I just, I don't know. I feel like it's very, very secure here. It's like very high security. Like it's safe, it's beautiful. I'm awesome with you. And they already give you like blackout shades. Um, I haven't lived in an apartment in two years, downtown-ish San Antonio, which will also get used to that because although I've lived in San Antonio for a while now, I haven't ever lived like in the downtown area. I just wasn't ready to get a house by myself. Like if Nero was there, it's like, yeah, but I literally applied for this place super last minute and moved in like right away. Like the area is really nice. Like they're very dog friendly. So this apartment alone has like two dog parks in it, which is really cool for like your pets. And like, I think all my neighbors have dogs, which is really cool. And so this is the garden area. Okay, and this is actually the dog park, uh, one of them. This is like the bigger one. And so like you can just like sit and chill here. People just bring their dogs in, they just close it and they just take them off the leash and they just like run around and play. Or I can come down here and play with everyone else's dogs. This is where I will be doing my meditating or yoga. Yoga? Yoga anyone? It's also right on the river walk. Guys, I feel like I'm in a jungle. There's just so much greenery and plants. Outdoor grill, overlook of the river walk, which is pretty cool. Kitchen. Hi. A cozy room where you can just sit here and work. So I come down here to edit sometimes. They have like coffee out all the time, usually with snacks. Someone ate them all and like homemade syrups. It's massive here. One of my favorite rooms here in the apartments and it's called the library. So I feel like Beauty and the Beast. This is the pool, which I really, really love. They have like those cabanas in the back are all recycled brewery tank things. We got an outdoor grill thing over here. No. There's bees. What's not to love? That's kind of all I'm gonna show you guys right now, but once my stuff comes in and then I decorate, then I'll do like a full on like tour. All right. Hey guys, so update, just got to the warehouse. We just got in a big shipment. This is for our next launch. We're, right now we're shooting for the 20th, but it came in just in time because this weekend we have the models. If you guys follow our Instagram, we did a model search and we've ended up picking out three girls to fly here to do modeling. I don't think any of them have ever modeled before, so it'll be really fun. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff, so cool. Can we 
lacy front, cute. Back, cute. It's like strappy and it's got like this little mesh thing right here. We wear this out. We were like a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow, well, looks good, huh? Okay, so this is like the mint and white color, guys. And we do do inserts for every single one of our bra. They always come with this cute little insert, which I'm about to insert right now because I need this. Are you cold? Also make sure to pay attention because if you look at these, there's one for your right boob and one for your left. I actually didn't know that. Eight, eight. 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 And it has eight. two colors. Eight. What about that tank though? So we also have this mint tank. These are our loose flowy tanks, right? So they're just like super comfortable, really cute, and they're really, really, really soft. And then if you look on the side, we have mesh detailing with ribbon. Wow. That, look? that looks real good. Does it look real good? Real good. Yeah. So, quick update, um, I went to an errands. I'm currently at the OBGYN for my annual because it's mostly because I watch this channel anyway, right? <laughs> Just uh, letting you guys know that I get my, get my annual. How many of you guys actually get your annuals like every single year? Like, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good about that, but my friends are like, oh, I haven't been in X amount long, and I'm like, go get your annual. Go get, get. Okay, I'm gonna go get fondled now. What's up guys? So I'm back from the doctor appointment and I am back at home and you're about to be my roommate. Get excited. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff. All kinds of photo shoot stuff! Yeah! Okay, wait, meet Casey. Casey's hey roommate. I'm showing him the whole place. Well, uh-oh. Wait, say your full name. What's your full name? Casey Catanzaro, 27 years old, born in Belleville, New Jersey. I like to um, work out and hang out with Heidi, go for long walks, you know, play with dogs. <laughs> and she's vegan. Yeah. Wow, you were really good at being put on the spot. Well, let me show you guys. I just started saying random facts. <laughs> random facts. Okay, so we're gonna be shooting. We're gonna do a little mini photo shoot today. Okay, guys, so we're getting ready. Uh, we have all the stuff we're gonna shoot in right there. I'm currently wearing the new bra that we have not named yet. If you guys want to write below what we should name it, do that, because we're trying to figure out a name. And then Elysium leggings in white. These are not out yet. They are taking a little bit longer because they were slightly sheer, and I was like, no, 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 we're redoing them, so they're taking a little bit longer, sorry. These will not be for the next launch. And then, what are you wearing, Casey? I don't know the name of it. <laughs> it's all black. She's, yeah, we, don't, we didn't name this bra yet, but it's a black, strappy, bra with a mesh in the back, and she's got the Luna leggings on that we're restocking. Yes, girl, yes. And then Jessica, <laughs> what are you wearing? The bra that has no name. <laughs> I'm wearing white pants, and I just got my period during my pap smear. That was awkward. <laughs> No big deal, no big deal. Okay. Oh. Ooh. When you're extra, that's how you enter the gym. <laughs> Kay Casey, what do you want to do? I don't want to show everyone. <laughs> I've never done it before, but you know when they like do this and they do their booty ones like this? Some of the Skittles are like rumbling in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, who eats Skittles as a pre-workout? You did too. I had a few. 
What's going on guys? I'm gonna do a little voiceover over this workout. This was a glute focused workout and we started off doing some resistance band training. This is very beneficial for not only getting in a workout you know, that you can do at home, but also activating your glutes before you lift weights. And this is something I'm gonna be you know, doing more often before I train my glutes because I am guilty of jumping into my workout sometimes instead of doing proper warm ups and that's not okay. Activating your glutes before you train them is important because you're telling your body, hey, I want you to work today, so get ready for this epic workout. Glutes were nice and warmed up. We started our actual workout, and the first exercise we did, you see me doing here, are the Romanian deadlifts. I love doing Romanian and stiff leg deadlifts on my glute and hamstring days. The reason that I love doing them is because you get a nice stretch in your hamstrings. I have very tight hamstrings, so I have to stretch, I have to Make sure that they are nice and warmed up before I train my legs. Moving on, we did some single leg extensions. We wanted to give our glutes a just, just a little bit of a break because we went so crazy with the band work in the beginning, like just trying all the different exercise and just having fun with it. We were like, you know what? Our glutes are kind of, kind of feeling it. Let's take a little break, do some single leg extensions for our quads, then get back to glutes. I'm not really sure what you call this exercise here, um, but it's amazing, it's incredible. Um, it's definitely glute focused and you feel it. You don't wanna put too much weight on this either. The most weight we did was 10 pounds on each side. It was more than enough. We got a good amount of reps in and we felt it. The last exercise we did was some rope pull throughs. I like to do that second little pulse um, after doing a pull through and it's amazing. And that's the end of the glute workout guys. So hopefully you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and enjoy. How was giving birth? <laughs> Am I doing it? Yep. Oh, that was good. I feel like I'm dancing. <laughs> it looks like you're dancing. Get it, girl, get it, get it, twerk. See, like this person walking in the dog, just staring at me, hit her. <laughs> When Heidi tries new things. When what? Heidi tries new things. What you got going on over here? Oh god. Can't do more. Ah. Oh no, I don't get know. Get it, get it, get it. She extra. <laughs> and she almost died. Casey! Oh! Now I need some spirit fingers. <laughs> I feel like it was like a Yeah. Okay, try mine. <laughs> How many can you get? Oh, God. Put pepper on it. Her booty? Yeah. For real. Mine? Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Those are called Frankenstein. Those are called Frankenstein. You saw them here first. <laughs> All right, guys, workout is done, and we did pretty good, right? We did. We did. We did. We did good. Considering the three of us, it's been a long freaking day. Lex and I were supposed to have a meeting, going over pantos and stuff. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow first morning. morning. We're fresh. First thing. But I brought the folder. Slash cook ceviche slash I don't know you want to call it but you can't call it cook ceviche it defeats the purpose of being ceviche. Shh. Oh, it's fancy. I hope it's cooked. I'm just kidding, but you can't mess it up because it's already cooked. Shut up. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. I told you it was good. I'm very impressed. Cooking with Heidi. 
Do you really like it that much? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you make it again? Mm -hmm. I've never seen someone chop up onions and tomatoes so fast in my life. <laughs> if you guys want to make your own pico de gallo, you go for it. Otherwise, you can get the ones at the store where it's already made. This was like $3. Uh, so, I mean, it's quick, it's easy. I'd rather do that. But you guys can make your own fresh pico de gallo if you want. This is medium? Yeah. Oh. Ew. Ew. Is that Mexican? This is... <clears throat> Woo! So guys, you gotta try that shrimp dip. I think Lexi ate like the majority of it, but it's, it's freaking good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.